the people are taking off their clothes and we're putting them on. The people are uh, supposedly enjoying themselves at this time, next weekend, drinking alcohol and taking drugs. And it looks like they're smiling, but it's only a chemical based smile. A few hours later, you have a terrible headache and maybe get involved in an accident. Well, yeah, it's an illusion. So when we avoid alcohol and drugs, when we protect our private parts and not involved in fornication and adultery, a man respects a woman. The woman respects herself and not allow herself to be abused by anybody. When we reach this level, we're going to feel strange. We're going to feel really strange. We don't take interest in the bank. The person, the banker says, here's your interest, uh, Mr. Abdul. And Abdullah said, no, I don't want the interest. They said, this is strange. You know what the Prophet Sallallahu said? Inna Islam bada'a qareeban wa sayyudu qareeban fa tuba lil ghurama Islam began strange and it will return to being strange. So glad tidings to the strangers. They asked him, O Messenger of Allah, who are the ghuraba? And he told them, alladhina yuslihuna in the fasad al nas they are those who rectify themselves. They repair themselves when the people have become corrupted. In Sadaqah Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam, this is the time of the ghuraba. It is a feeling of strangeness within ourselves in the society, but it is closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are able to carry out these actions, to remember Allah Azza wa Jal, to protect our prayers, to have the khushur, the humility, to protect our private parts, to give our zakat, to carry out our actions, fulfill our trusts, our covenant, and the greatest covenant, the greatest oath and, 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 and covenant is la ilaha illallah, to fulfill all what is needed to worship one God. We will feel strange, but the Prophet ﷺ said, these are the people who are strangers, those who repair themselves when the society becomes corrupted. And so I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bless the younger people who are here today and the younger people of the Ummah of Muhammad Wasallam. May Allah bless them and help this nation to change.